This is the magic barrel of your life. And we've opened it so we can show you some of the modern day miracles that it contains that were made with the help of petrochemicals, which means chemicals from petroleum. For example, this is polyethylene film made entirely from petrochemicals. It's a very tough film, very durable, and it retains its toughness and flexibility even at 40 degrees below zero. It has many uses. They use it to package vegetables, to make uh, frozen food bags for the refrigerator, to package all types of things. They are even using bags of polyethylene as a container for goldfish. A truly miracle product from the Magic Barrel is in this container. It's called Freon 12 Dichlorodifluoromethane. Freon is a safe and an efficient refrigerant. Why it's made possible the rapid growth of the refrigeration industry. It's conserved food in our homes, in our refrigerators. It's used in deep freeze cabinets and for all types of air conditioning. I placed some in this uh, thermos so that I could show you what Freon looks like. And here it is, a clear water white liquid. And you may be able to note that it is boiling violently, just as water would boil on a stove. You see, Freon boils at any temperature above 22 degrees below zero, so this room is boiling hot for Freon. Yes, it's a safe refrigerant. I'll just pour some on my clothing. And now watch the frost appear. I'll blow on it. Oh, it's cold, all right. Here is a fresh carnation. Let's see what happens. We'll just put it right into the Freon. Just for an instant. Why, it looks the same, doesn't it? But just in that fraction of an instant, it's frozen solid. Yes, Freon is just another one of the many advantages that we enjoy today because of the magic barrel. Many of the things that we enjoy in our homes today are made with the help of these chemicals from petroleum. Such things as the asphalt shingles that protect our roofs are made from petroleum and the asphalt tiles that beautify our floors. Such things as Fabrolite, a beautiful and durable upholstery material for our furniture. And of course the paints, the thinners, the lacquers and varnishes that are used in our home are all made with uh, the help of thinners from petroleum. Now these pipes are finished with Dulux refrigerator enamel, a gleaming white finish found on many of our home appliances. And it's very durable. Let me show you. I can bang the pipes together, you see. And although I dent them, the finish has not cracked or chipped. These new durable enamels made with the help of petrochemicals are elastic. They give with the blow. Many of our new plastics are made with the help of petrochemicals. 
And here are a few examples. Zytel nylon resin, called the plastic of a thousand uses. Why, it's used to make everything from toothbrushes to gears to horseshoes, shoes for racehorses. Incidentally, the first two horses that wore these lightweight nylon shoes won their races. And lucite, acrylic resin, another very useful and very beautiful plastic. Lucite takes color very well. It's used to make jewelry, such as these beautiful beads. Very useful things, such as this reflector for an automobile taillight. And lucite has a remarkable quality that I'd like to demonstrate to you. Here I have a solid rod of lucite. And it's tied in a knot, just like a pretzel. It will actually bend the light from this flashlight right around all those bends and curves and let the light come out of the other end of the rod. This property has made lucite very useful for decorative purposes. And of course, the medical profession uses it also. They can make a tongue depressor, for example, that will not only hold your tongue in position, but will throw the light right down your throat. Here's another plastic made with the help of petrochemicals that's very valuable. It's called Alaphon, polyethylene resin. And it too is finding many uses. The very popular squeeze bottles are made of Alaphon, polyethylene resin. Such things as lightweight plastic pipe pipe that is flexible, resistant to most corrosive chemicals, and so light in weight that I could carry a 500-foot coil over my shoulder. And another example, a piece of rope made of alathon, plastic rope that will float on the surface of the water, very useful for buoy lines or heaving lines. A new plastic film made with the help of petrochemicals is called mylar, polyester film. This film has one third the tensile strength of steel. Why, even a strong man that could tear a telephone book in half with his bare hands would have trouble with this thin sheet of mylar because of its strength. One of the uses found for it is making motion picture film. Film that's thin so you can get more feet on a reel and at the same time very strong and eliminates annoying breaks. One of the most valuable products from our magic barrel I hold in my hand. This is rubber milk. Latex, the chemists call it. And I'm going to make some rubber for you right now. Since petrochemicals made it possible for man to make rubber, more than 70% of all the rubber we use today comes not from rubber trees, but from an oil dairy whose roots may be a mile or two beneath the surface of the ground. One of the advantages of this synthetic rubber is that it can be made to specifications. For example, it can be made as soft and gentle as you would need for the nipple of a baby's bottle. Or it can be made as hard and tough as you would want for a bowling ball. I think that we have made some rubber. Let's see. We'll break a piece. 
We'll form it into a round ball. Dry it a bit. And if it's rubber, it should bounce. Let's see. Yes, it's rubber. And we have only shown you a few of the thousands of products made with the help of petrochemicals. Products that have helped to raise our standard of living with the help of the magic barrel. And now we want to wish every success to our friends in Greece who will be presenting the magic barrel at the Salonika Fair. <laughs>